I moved to Brussels in 2015, at about the same time as Yanis had started his trips to renegotiate the Greek debt. And I came face to face with a European Union that absolutely did not represent me. I had moved to Brussels to be part of a Europe of solidarity, of a Europe of shared prosperity, which puts the interests of its citizens and of the environment before those of multinationals. And instead, I saw a Europe that would spare nothing and no one in order to appease the rich and the powerful. There is one dogma underpinning this set of twisted priorities. One dogma which squeezes and divides the poorest and weakest in society while profiting monopolies and the powerful. One dogma that caused depression and suicide rates in Greece to skyrocket 4% of my country's population to emigrate. That's 400,000 people in under 10 years. For medieval diseases to resurface. And that dogma is austerity. Austerity will not just be remembered as socially inhumane or economically irrational. It will be remembered as the policy that almost doomed humanity as it drove desperate citizens to the far right and the environment to collapse as we refused to invest in our communities and in the green transition. Austerity, austerity is a dogma that denies us ambition, hope, and humanity. But I did say almost doomed, because now we have this. We have DiEM25, we have European Spring, and in Greece we have Meta25. This is not the time for petty reforms, for varying geometries and multiple speeds. This is the time for unapologetic, realistic, but radical change. Something, and make no mistake, that only the European Union is in a place to deliver. Imagine a European Union that instead of handicapping its member states with nonsensical austerity, lifts them up through new resources and fiscal space through our Green New Deal that we mentioned before, through the parallel payment system that we refer to in our program, and through this allows the member states to invest in their citizens and their communities. This is what we stand for, from villages and in village cafes across Europe to the beating heart of the European Union here in Brussels. This fight knows no borders and neither do we. This is the fight that will define our generation, the fight against authoritarianism and climate change, the fight against austerity. And we can win it together. <laughs>